everyone, this is Melissa Arma with Stock Swoosh and reviewing STX. Unfortunately, today I took a loss in this gap and I was up in it. This is a, a good example of no piggy targets, not being a pig. I didn't think it was a piggy today. <laughs> I mean, I thought that 3150, 31 was realistic. I didn't get there. So I was actually did the trade today, which I'll review in a minute, was up. Didn't take any profit out. Dropped, hit bounced stopped very frustrated but anyways i was not aggressive in this i did not i'm sorry i didn't do it here i did it here dropped broke it was up 32 broke and it, and it actually broke by 12 cents so i felt like the stock would continue and the gap rated highly the train did work to drop I didn't get out. Just... <sighs> Anyways, I didn't get out of it. So I was up in a trade and then took a stop. So I can do so. Anyways, I got stopped and then that was off. Didn't redo it. But I will tell you, this is the top watch tomorrow morning on Wednesday for a continuation gap. In fact, I would be shocked if this did not fall tomorrow. You can see here where it held into the resistance, 34, held, held, held. Actually, if you tried to do anything with this at all after 11 o'clock, it went nowhere. Why? Because the stock was lower. It was not a long. It was not a buy. It was a short. But unfortunately, it was such a large down gap that all the selling continued into the gap and dropped into the morning, and then I just didn't get out. I should have been a little bit more aggressive with the entry here. The reason I wasn't, I'm not going to get into a whole long thing because I talked about it in the room and I teach this in the class, but the bottom line was I wasn't this morning. There was a real reason for me not doing it, but the gap rated really well. This should fall tomorrow. You're looking for a trade tomorrow? Short STX. Anyways, it's lower. So I took a stop in this today. Nothing I could do. I have to suck it up. Ended up making money today anyways because I did the Mew and I played the Mew very, very hard, but... You know, this is something that I will think about for probably a day or two because, you know, sometimes when the gap rates so well, you know, you know, it's just, I mean, this, I felt so confident this would fall today and I, I wasn't as aggressive as I normally am. I mean, I've just got to be honest with you, I just wasn't. So we, we had a whole discussion on this in the room. I won't get into it now, but bottom line is it's a good watch for tomorrow. But I took a loss in this today when I was up, <laughs> you know, which almost never happens, but it was very frustrating. So the market ended up going to my favor today with the second trade I did and made money on the day and in you. We will review this tomorrow probably because I'd really be interested to see where this goes on uh, Thursday or Wednesday, I'm sorry. Anyways, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information on signing up for the Golden Gap class, which is this weekend, the 29th and 30th. And if you want to make money during third quarter earnings season, now is the time to do it because there's a lot of things to look at. And, you know, I mean, it, it's almost like there's five things every morning that are good. Minimum, minimum five gaps that rate per my system every morning that we could do but I try to focus on one or two. Thanks everybody, have a great night.